Hello everybody, it's me, Game Jacker, and today I'm going to show you how to bind any key or button on your Windows PC to any other, which opens up some interesting opportunities and also allows you to bind especially your mouse number four key and or button and number five button to any other key for those games, you know, such as this one, it's one of those culprits that doesn't actually let you bind. Uh, mouse button number four and five, which is extremely annoying. So I'm just going to demonstrate. I'm trying to bind my number four and my number five. It just doesn't work. So it just doesn't recognize it as a legitimate key. So here's the solution. There's this uh, program that's called X mouse button control. There's going to be a link in the description as always while you're there. Please give the video a like if it's been useful. Subscribe for more gaming content. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. So I'm just going to start up the app. Now X mouse button control is literally made for this. It allows you to map any button to any other, any key to any other, any button to any key. It's quite easy and it can bind to different apps. So in this case, this is System Shock. It doesn't allow you to bind your mouse number four and five by default. So what you're going to do here is you're going to your mouse button five. I want to map this. I always have it as crouch. So you can simply go there and you can go to settings and you can enter the key you want to simulate. So in this case, it's C. It's a crouch button, or if you want to do melee, you can go uh, B, you can go C, and then you can also choose wh what exactly you want to do. Do you want to sticky it? So that means it's going to hold down that button until you press your mouse button again. Or you can just use it as a simulated um, key on your keyboard so that once you hold it down, it's held down on the keyboard and so on. So you can do all kinds of weird stuff um, that can also be used to cheatery you know, in some kind of games as well, if you're interested in that, of course. Um, yeah, so, but it, that's a more advanced. You can play around with that. Um, there's definitely um, some weird stuff that you can do that by, might be very useful in certain competitive games. However, do keep in mind that programs like these uh, do get banned once in a while um, if you're using them in such a way. So, or if I want to do, for example, let's just go for my mouse button number four. Now, I usually use that for grenades or something, but in this case, I'm going to map it to jump so I can easily demonstrate it. So I'm going to simulated keys undefined and then I'm going to enter space and it didn't recognize space. So what you want going to want to do is go through this little arrow here, go to standard keys and enter space. So it's going to simulate the space key. Let's apply that again. Let's try again. Yeah, as you can see, I can now use my mouse to jump and you can basically also spam buttons repeatedly while the button is down. Let's try that. So I'm just going to apply that, go back into the game. And as you can see, I just hold down the button and it spams the key for jumping. So that might be useful um, um, for people that want to click really fast, which uh, can be definitely used to your advantage in many, many games. Yeah. Anyways, that's how you use mouse button control to remap your mouse keys. Very useful in many games that don't allow you to customize your key bindings the way you, the way you want them. Also can be used uh, for cheating purposes, definitely. Anyways, guys, that's it from me. If you want more of this content about game cheatery knowing, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for the algorithms. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Links as always in the description, and I'll see you guys next time. Game Jack Crowd!